there is something that is in stash blend that's not on the label and that is the amino acid polymer and i forget the reason why you mentioned why it can't be on the label maybe you can expand on that a little bit but can you talk to us about amino acid polymers just in general everything about them yeah absolutely so you know there's a there's there's a number of different amino acid polymers that you know are out there and obviously you know amino acids hook together to create peptides and then from peptides they grow into proteins right and you know what we try to do though is with our amino acid polymers it's it's we take a singular amino acid which is aspartic acid right and then we take that aspartic acid and we use exceptionally high heat around 500 degrees fahrenheit and we fuse those aspartic acid monomers together to form an aspartic acid polymer and from there we're reactive with potassium hydroxide where we heard this before to make it a soluble polymer instead of an insoluble polymer and um the the story behind how this concept came about actually uh originates from the late 80s they had discovered that mollusks in the ocean build their shells out by taking calcium from the water by using an aspartic acid polymer and it's a completely a lot of our polymers out there have uh, that uh, synthetic man-made polymers that we use like polyacrylates and things along those lines uh they're not biodegradable right so they don't break down in the environment and so someone said hey look you know we've got mollusks that are creating this amino acid polymer to grab on the nutrients to help build out their shells wouldn't this work in agriculture and if so how could we diagram a way to produce this in mass and predictably and get this out in agriculture because we we can use this to grab nutrients out of the soil and increase nutrient uptake and oh by the way the process to make it you only your, your byproduct is water vapor and your polymer is fully biodegradable and actually the polymer that we make is food grade it actually is probably another conversation for another day but it actually goes into uh, beverages all over the world uh, certain very specific beverages but um it, it, again another story for another day but um that's you know that's the whole story so but again there's labeling laws and there's requirements there's all sorts of stuff and so we wanted to have the best possible product. We wanted to, to have something that was going to increase nutritional uptake in plants, right? Which is really, you know, the, the whole secret story behind Bash Blend. And, uh, you know, we do that with biology. We're doing that with seaweed. We're doing that with corn steep liquors that's feeding the biology in the plant. And then we have this, this beautiful uh, aspartic acid polymer that's in that mix that's uh, chemically helping grab onto the nutrients and also acting as a terrific food source for the bacteria and biology on the back end. So, um, but it's not on the label because again, you know, labeling requirements and, and things like that. And, you know, we've got decades of research on this stuff, but it, it never seems to be in the exact right format that each state wants. Some states have no problem. Some states, and predictably, you're going to know probably which states those are. Um, I think they just like putting their oars in the water. You know what I mean? And uh, so that's, you know, that's a little bit behind. So we kind of go back to that labeling law stuff and then the intents are good, but it actually ends up harming consumers in some ways because, you know, we're not able to put everything we want to put on there, but we want to build out the best products possible. This clip is brought to you by Stash Blend. Use coupon code THESTASH for a discount on your order.